Hello, welcome to today's lesson on planting design. In this lesson, you will be able to understand the elements of design as they pertain to planting design and begin to apply the design principles as they pertain to planting design. To start off with, we will discuss the elements of design and how they pertain to the principles of design. The elements of design are color, form, line, texture, and scale. We will discuss each of these elements of design individually. As a review, here are the principles of design. Unity, simplicity, variety, emphasis, balance, and sequence. Today we will talk about how each of the elements of design can be used to create principles of design. Let's start with color. There are three analyses of color within planting design. First is the primary analysis or color relationships. Adjacent color relationships are those colors that are neighboring on the color wheel, such as blue and blue violet, or even blue and violet. Complementary colors are colors that are opposite on the color wheel, such as blue and orange, or violet and yellow. Secondary color analysis is the color effect, or the effect that has on the observer. Cool colors typically create a calming influence, whereas bright colors elicit excitement. Warm colors typically evoke a natural feel in the landscape. You can also create strong focal points by using contrasting colors. Finally, there is the tertiary analysis or color composition. This is where you have a focal color or a color that stands out in the landscape and you have a matrix color, which is often green. Matrix color can also be another foliar color like blue, tans, or white. Next, let, let's discuss form. Plant form. Plants can come in a variety of forms, upright, fountain, creeping, mounting, vase shape, columnar. You can also use massings or groups of plants to create a form. Here are some examples of tree forms and shrub forms. Planting forms can be used to create emphasis, they can also be used to create simplicity or variety in a landscape. Here is an example of both color and form in a landscape. Variety is achieved by the weeping form of the tree, whereas unity and simplicity are achieved by the mounding rounded habits of the shrubs. Emphasis is created with the red accent, whereas simplicity and unity are created with the green matrix color. The element of design called line is used primarily in the horizontal plane this can be achieved with an individual arrangement of plants or plant groupings. It will eventually grow out to the landscape bed and the landscape as a whole. However, you can also create um, vertical planes. This is done by layering or by using vertical elements such as fencing or the trunks of trees. Plant texture is one of my favorite um, elements of design. Leaf texture, flower texture, plant type, all influence texture. Narrow leaf texture or fine leaf texture creates an element of depth 
whereas broad leaf texture is more exciting and busy. Don't forget the flower texture, not only the petals, but also seed heads. This can be an excellent way to add winter interest in your garden. Other influences of, from texture could include bark, cones, and even the overall size of the plant. Here are some different leaf shapes and flower arrangements that can contribute to texture. And then we've got scale. When we talk about scale, we want, I want you to focus on the distance at which the landscape will be viewed. The upper left hand corner design right here is meant to be viewed at a much more intimate or uh, closer up scale than this one here. And the planting design reflects that. Individual plants can be appreciated here with different textures and sizes, whereas this one they're using large blocks or masses of plants to create visual interest, variety, and um, unity. Here is an example of the use of color, texture, form, line, and scale in a landscape. Let's discuss. Just a simple quick review of the principles of landscape design, including unity, sequence, simplicity, variety, emphasis, and balance. Please review these principles as we will be going out on a plant and landscape critique walkabout where we will be using these terms to analyze landscapes in our area.